Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment. And today for art news, I wanted to talk about this painting. Now this is the only printout we're going to be looking at. I want to sear this into your memory banks and your brain. If you want to just, you know, listen to this in the background, that's fine too. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. But this is all we're going to be looking at and I'm going to explain why in this video. So this painting is called Madeline leaning on her elbow with flowers in her hair. And this is a painting of Madeline Bruno, who was a village girl. And this was painted in 1918 by the French artist Pierre Auguste Renoir. And he passed away a year later at the age of 78 after creating this. This is an oil painting. His signature is in the bottom right corner. Now, uh, Renoir was considered one of the leaders in the development of the Impressionist style. He is considered a master, and this painting is of great value. So this painting measures about 19 and a half inches by 16 inches, or 50 centimeters by 41 centimeters-ish. And this painting belongs to the artist's sort of red period. He went through a period in his art where he was painting pieces with a lot of red in them. There is more than one in his art period. And this was sort of where he was trying to convey the madness of life. And <laughs> yes, <laughs> I get you, I get it. So September 8th, 2011, a homeowner in Houston, Texas, in the United States was watching TV when she heard a loud noise downstairs. And she went to check out the noise and was met with an armed man wearing a ski mask. And he had forced his way through the back door of her home. And the thief is sort of described as a white male. And at the time of the theft, 18 to 26 years old, about 160 pounds, which is about 72 kilograms, um, approximately 5 feet 10 inches, uh, 177 centimeters tall-ish, and he stole Madeline leaning on her elbow with flowers in her hair with the frame intact from the stairwell um, where it was hanging. And this is the bottom half. Now, this painting has not been found. Um, and I thought I would use my platform and art news to sort of help spread the word a little bit. I know this isn't my art news videos aren't watched by a huge number of people, but one extra person is better than none. Um, there is a reward for up to $50,000 US dollar for any information leading to the recovery of this painting. Now, this is part of the FBI's ACT, the Art Crime Team, and the Art Theft Program. So special agents from across the country coordinate together to find stolen art. And there is a national stolen art file, and I'll link everything in the description box below about the FBI art team that recovers art, the stolen art databases, everything. And in the database, there's a bunch of stolen art, there's stolen documents, there's a bunch of sport championship rings, which is really fascinating. And they're listed here in hopes of recognition and recovery. So this Renoir painting has been added to that list. It's been added to the Interpol Stolen Works of Art database list, the Art Lost, Re art Lost Register, and it's been added to the FBI's top 10 list of stolen art. So they have a top 10 list, and this is one on there that had the most amount of information with a picture that I thought would be good for art news, and we could look at this together. So I kind of want to talk about some interesting statistics that I uncovered as I was reading and researching about this Renoir painting. So did you know that 54% of all art thefts are from private homes? And only about 8% is from churches and places of worship. 40% of all art theft occurs in the United Kingdom. 19% takes place in the United States. So since the art crime team's creation in 2004, they have recovered over 
15,000 items valued at over $800 million. And I mention all these statistics because I think it is important to realize how prevalent and common art theft is. So art theft statistics say over 50,000 pieces of art are stolen each year worldwide, valued between six to eight billion, and that's billion with a B. And it's estimated that only five to 10% of stolen artwork is ever recovered. And that is just heartbreaking for the culture, for the owner, for the museum, for the history. That's, that's really, really sad. And if you are an art collector, please make sure that one, your art um, security is up to date, that you have a security system for your painting, figure out a way to hide a little GPS, if possible, inside the painting, have update security for your house, and updated security for your property, and two, make sure that your art is insured. So please make sure that all your things are up to date. That is very, very important. Um, if you have any information about this stolen remora painting, please contact your local FBI office or nearest U.S. Embassy or consulate. I will link all their info to look at that, to contact them, to find your nearest office if you like. Um, there's a web page where you can submit online tips. And again, a private insurer is offering up to $50,000 for information leading to its recovery. So I really hope that they find this painting. This is an absolutely stunning, beautiful, rich, bright red painting of this village girl. This is a piece of history. It's a piece of art history. Um, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.